First, new details at 6 on Providence's second homicide of the year, which was first breaking last night at 10 and 11. The deadly shooting happened just feet from the Johnson & Wales campus on Michigan Avenue. And tonight, we're hearing from Johnson & Wales students. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh has been working this story all day and joins us live from Providence. Kate? We're live outside the Providence Public Safety Complex where detectives are still trying to figure out the suspect in the city's second homicide of the year. And that's unsettling to students we spoke with when we went back to the crime scene today. A sidewalk memorial grew in size outside Columbia Park on Michigan Avenue as family and friends gathered to remember 22-year-old Jamal Contreras. Michigan Ave at Vermont after a shooting. Providence police say he was shot just after 7 Tuesday night and later died at Rhode Island Hospital. While police investigated, Johnson & Wales University alerted students to avoid the area. It's obviously not the best neighborhood, but the school really does do their best to keep us safe. Campus buildings border Michigan Avenue, and we discovered many students live nearby. Down that way a little bit more. It's not the greatest of areas. I wouldn't decide to walk there like at night by myself, but... If I was just walking up the street to my house, I'm fine with that. The fact that the suspect is still on the loose somewhere is a little concerning, but not something I'm going to be too afraid of. Providence police are asking for anyone with information to contact them immediately. And we looked into Providence crime statistics for you and found out that at this time last year, there were no homicides in the city. In all of 2017, there were 13 killings. And again, already this year, there have been two. Live in Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.